Hello and welcome everyone. Today I welcome you to watch me make some raw chocolate. Now this is not your normal chocolate that you get in the supermarket. It's basically a vegan style one um, and it's very good for you because there's no dairy or refined sugars in it. And I just use a double boiler, fill it with some boiling water and then I melt the uh, cacao butter in it as you can see it's quite liquid now it's all nice and ready to take all the ingredients uh, I use when I make it because I use this uh, block to mold my chocolate I do 80 grams of the cacao butter 40 grams of cacao powder and then I generally do about a tablespoon or two of agave syrup. I use the dark version. And then I tweak it a little bit. I add some Ceylon cinnamon, just a pinch. Some doTERRA essential oils. If you want to really make awesome chocolate, this brand is the one to go for. Just one or two drops. This is the uh, wild orange, it's awesome flavor. Madagascan uh, vanilla bean, a pinch of Himalayan salt, which I'll add in now, and I've got some organic sour cherries. So, this is a vanilla orange sour cherry uh, raw chocolate. Absolutely love it. So, let's get started. So, the oil, the cacao butter is melted. We've got the Ceylon cinnamon to add in, just a pinch just gives it that diversity in the flavour we'll add the Madagascan vanilla bean I just scrape two vanilla beans for that so I just get it stirring And it's about getting that consistency, like once it's all melted in, it'll like come into a really good mixture. It's a bit hard to show on the video there, but essentially once it's all melted in, as you can see, don't want any lumps in your mixture so that's why I use this miniature um, whisk because it really helps stir it really well you can keep stirring this all day adding you got to really watch this when you add the essential oils one two three it's snuck in there but it's not too bad the one essential oil you have to be really careful with is peppermint you'll destroy anything you make if you put more than two drops once generally enough but if you want a stronger mint flavor two is the way to go now that looks that consistency is I don't know how to what I might do is add the agave in and see if it'll thicken up so I start with one tablespoon because I don't like the chocolate being too overly sweet now everyone's taste buds are slightly different probably just put a little bit more in only because I can't get everything off the tablespoon there so I'll just put that there now you can use other sweeteners like stevia if you want it just won't the chocolate won't have that that solidness and it breaks really easy I find with the sweetener it helps Natural honey is another one you can use, though it just, the best sweetener I've found is agave, it just seems to really 
work with the chocolate. You can use maple syrup, that'll give a bit more of a caramel flavour. And there's another one called Yaken syrup, which is another kind of raw vegan sweetener. However, keep it simple and let your imagination roam with this. Alright, that is ready. Now, these chocolate blocks, I got them off a website called Loving Earth, but if you Google chocolate mold blocks, I'm sure you'll find something. So all I do now is pour in the mixture. I just stir a little bit. Look at that. I think I might be able to get two out of this mixture. Oh, wicked. Now, all I'm going to do now, this is the cool part, is you can just put your little bits of um, extras in. I just put these little cherries in because I think they go well with orange. You can put shredded coconut, goji berries, almonds, any kind of nut or dried fruit. Cacao nibs work well as well. Even coffee beans if you're a coffee lover. But yeah, it's, it's all down to imagination and what you want to eat. Now, all you have to do now is put this in the freezer for say half an hour and then they're set. And then you just kind of like give it a little whack on your chopping board and then they pop out. But I give it a good half an hour and then they're ready to eat. Certainly worth trying if you're a chocolate uh, fanatic like myself. And uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.